Dave Maiulo here from the Department of Physics and Astronomy, Rutgers University, the physics support specialist. We want to do some outdoor summertime fun experiments, and what's more fun than a water rocket? For that, you'll need to check online after watching the video. There's lots of places to buy and see how to design these kits so that they work well every time. My student, Connor, is actually pumping up a water rocket right here, but for a water rocket, you need a soda bottle and basically some fins that you can purchase online, water, some way to get it in there, and a bicycle pump. And you can see Connor's working really hard on the bicycle pump right now. He's adding pressure to this soda bottle, which has a little bit of water in it. When that soda bottle pressure builds enough, we're actually gonna see a water rocket in action as that heavy air pressure pushes that water out of the soda bottle and launches our soda bottle fairly high. You're gonna see just how high that can be. Connor, take it away, sir. <laughs> He's pumping away, and there's an awful lot of air pressure in there. I'm thinking about 60 to 80 pounds per square inch right now inside our soda bottle. Ready to pop a cork that's right on the end of that soda bottle. But remember, we're doing this outside because it's dangerous to use any kind of projectiles on the inside, but outside, you can launch these things as many times as you want. Almost there, Connor. Almost there. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Did it go across into the? It went to the golf course. <laughs> fun with rockets. How can you have more fun than a water rocket?